Hello, today uh, we're going to build a product landing page from Free Code Camp, and um, this is the next project in the series. Um, first, we built the tribute page, then survey form. Now we're on the product landing page, and we have to build something similar to this. Um, so, it has a nav bar that stays, and you can select um, some different trombones. Um, these buttons don't really work, but Hey, they're there. And also, I'm going to show you how to embed a YouTube video. All right, so let's get started. First thing we want to do is we want to use um, Visual Studio Code instead of CodePen because Visual Studio Code is a lot nicer. And so, yeah, let's just get started. So first thing you want to do is do um, an exclamation point and then enter, and then it'll set up your um, HTML correctly. And we can give this a title of um, product landing page if we want. Um, yeah, just make sure you have an index.html page and a style.css um, file. And then we'll link to the CSS by doing link and then style.css. Well, first I'll show you what we're actually going to make. So it's going to look something like this. We have our nav bar here that takes us down to our different spots and back up and we have this YouTube video embed and then yeah it's a website about fruits <laughs> that's all it is and these buttons don't really work it's just for for visuals so yeah I'll open this server up with live server or I'll open this page up with live server and here's ours I will make this split all right there we go we have our code on the left and we have our page on the right so whatever we put in here will auto update so hello and then save it and then there it shows up first thing we want to do is make that nav bar it'll be a nav with the class of nav bar we'll put a div with the class of logo inside of it and then inside of this div it'll have an image with a class of logo image the alt will be logo and then underneath this, we'll have our links. So we'll do a div of links. Divs are the most common, so dot will just get div. So there, it gave me a div when I hit enter. Inside the links, we'll have three a tags of class, of no class. It'll just be three a tags. Um, the href will be a hashtag to a section. So how we do it is the first one. And then the second one will be in stock and the third one will be purchase. I'll save that and now we have our links. Um, I will also add in that source. It's just a random fruits logo that I found on the internet. Now we'll have our header with an ID of header and inside there we'll have an H1 and we'll also have an H3 and inside of these the H1 will say free code camp product landing page and the H3 will have the best fruits available. Save that. There's our header. Next up, we'll have a container for all of our sections. So we'll do dot container to make a div with the class of container. And then we'll put down our sections. So the first section will be how do we do it? And then second will be in stock, third will be purchase. So they'll have an ID of what this is so that the href will work. There we go, we have three sections. How do we do it in stock and purchase? First, we'll start with how do we do it? And this will have an H1 with the title, or how we do it. Under that will be a div of a description container, and then that will have a title, how image title, and we grow. And then underneath that will be an image with a class, with an alt of grow, and a class of how image. Now we'll copy this twice, and we'll change some of these. So the second one will be we gather, and the third one will be we distribute and then change the alts on those two. And then I'll add in the sources for the images. Save that and here we go. We got our images. So that's great. Next up, we wanna put our YouTube embed um, underneath all of this. And all that is, is you can just copy and paste this right off a YouTube video. What you do is you go to the YouTube video that you want to embed and then you click share and then there's an embed part in that share button and you just copy that and paste it in your HTML and then it shows up. So there it is. Next up we'll start working in the second section, the in stock section. 
So this will have an H1 of in stock and it'll have a in stock card container. And then inside there we'll have three cards, um, one for apples, one for eight oranges and one for bananas. So first one will be um, in stock card and then it'll have a card title of apples and it'll also have an image with it. So there we go, it um, has an alt of apples and a class of in stock image. And then I'll copy this down three times. Oh, actually it also has a button. So yeah, underneath the image, we'll put a button that has a class of card select and text of select. And I'll copy this down three times or two times. And then the second will be bananas or oranges, oranges. And the third one will be bananas. And then I'll add in the image sources. Those are just some random images I got off the internet again, and here they're showing up. So we'll fix that with styling afterwards. So there we're done with the in stock section. Next up is the purchase section. So I'll start with the title of H of H1 purchase that has a container of purchase container. And then inside there we'll have a div of cart that says your cart. And then we'll have a div of items of an ordered list with two items in it. Apples times one and then bananas and then underneath the items div we'll put a button of button purchase and that says purchase all right there we go we got our purchase section done now let's make this a whole lot nicer we're going to turn that into this right we're going to go from there to here so let's uh let's try and do that go to your style.css page first up we want to set the margins to zero so select everything with the star and margin zero. Next up, we want to select the body and give it a nice background, background color of, and then we'll also set the text colors for everything to be um, dark gray and the font family to Verdana. So there we go, we have a gray background color and the font style changed. And also the text color is just really dark gray. Next, we'll select our nav bar and we'll do position fixed on it, top of zero, min height of 75 pixels, padding of 0 pixels and 20 pixels. So 0 pixels on the y, 20 pixels on the x. Width of 100%. We'll do a display of flex, justify content center, or actually space around, align items of center, and a background color of white with an opacity of the E. So there's our nav bar. It has the fruits logo and the, um, the links, and then it stays when we scroll. Next up, we'll select our logo image and make it smaller. We'll do object fit contain so that it keeps its aspect ratio and a height of 80 pixels. Uh, select logo image, the full, um, full word image. And there we go, it made it a lot smaller. Next up, we'll situate it so it looks a little, like it's spaced out better. So we'll select the logo and this is the div that contains the logo image, right? And we'll give it a flex of 0.2 and a margin left of 5%. And then we'll grab the links and we'll go flex of 0.8. We'll do a text align end and a font size of 20 pixels. So there they're at the end. I actually think maybe text align center would be better. So this flex of 0.2 and flex 0.8, it's saying to this logo, you take up 20% of the space and to the links, you take up 80% of the space. Now we'll grab our A tags and we'll put a dex, text decoration of none on them. So that just makes them look a lot nicer. And then we will also have a margin right of three pixels or 3% and a color of black. So there we go, there's our links. They look a lot better and they bring us to our, the spot that we want on our page. So that's good. We're gonna add a hover effect to them. I'll also make this um, text a little bigger and the hover will just have a text decoration of underline so that when we hover over it um, they get a underline text if I save it. There we go. Next up we'll grab our header, we'll do display flex on it, margin top of 100 pixels, align item center, and flex direction of column. So there's our header, looks pretty nice. We'll grab all of our h1 tags and it will give them a margin of 30 pixels and zero pixels and font size of 60 pixels so it'll be quite large so yeah those are pretty big now so we actually want to tone them down if it's a smaller screen size and we just do that with a media query 
So I'll set a max width of 1300 pixels, and then we'll select the H1 tags from there, and we'll give them a font size of 45 pixels. So what this is saying is if it's if the screen width is under 1300 pixels, then make the font size of H1 tags 45 pixels instead of 60. So there they got toned down 45 pixels instead of 60. Now I'll grab our H3 tag, um, we'll add a margin to them and also a font size. Margin uh, bottom of 30 pixels and a font size of 40 pixels. Now we'll grab our container. This is the thing that wraps around all, all of our sections. We'll do margin of 20 pixels and 10%. 20 pixels on the Y, 10% on the X. We'll do, give a padding of 10 pixels on the Y and 5% on the X. We'll give a background color of white and a border radius of 16 pixels and a box shadow of, on it as well. So the first one is the position, so zero, zero to center it. And then 10 pixels for the blur and three pixels for the intensity. I don't really know what that one is. And then we'll give it a color of dark or of like just gray. And we'll see what that looks like. So yeah, there, there's our container. It's got a box shadow around it. Looks quite nice. Now we'll grab every section and we'll just give it a margin of 100 pixels. So they space out. So there they spaced out. Now we'll give it 100 pixels on the Y and 0 pixels on the X. Because I don't like how it went in like that. So they're, now they're just spaced out in between each other. Next we want to select how do we do it or how we do it. Grab this section and we'll give it a text line of center. Now maybe I can just put that onto the sections because I do that for every one of them. So I'll just do that text line center. Um, next we'll grab the how image. So this is these three images right here, and we're, we're going to make them look a lot nicer. First we'll do object fit contained to keep the X aspect ratio when we resize it, and we'll give it a height of 150 pixels. So there we go, they're a lot smaller, and our YouTube video still shows. Next we'll grab the how description, and just give it a margin, 5 pixels, 0 pixels. One thing in our HTML, um, we actually want this to be how description, for these three and we just want a, another div around it of how description container. And this will go around those three. Back in the style.css we want to grab the how image title and give it a font size of 30 pixels. Save that now those um, that text is a lot bigger. Now we want to grab the in stock images and we'll give it an object fit of contain and a height of 150 pixels. So actually I'm just gonna put this with the other one right here and separate it by a comma. Delete that and there we go. Now these images are um, a lot smaller. Now I'm gonna grab the how description container and also the in stock container in stock card container and we'll give it a display of flex a flex wrap of wrap and a justify content of space around so there we go and now it flexed and we can see two instead of just in one column next up we want to grab the in stock card give it a display of flex flex direction of column flex wrap of wrap a margin and a border radius margin of five pixels pixels and a border radius of 10 pixels. So there we see it centers everything and it makes the select boxes or the select buttons bigger. Next we'll grab the card title and make their font size 30 pixels. There we go. Their font size is bigger. And we'll grab every button and we'll give it a background color of orange. It'll be hashtag FF8E3C. A cursor of pointer Order of none, outline of done, padding of 10 pixels and 30 pixels, margin of 20 pixels, font size of 20 pixels, and a border radius of 50 pixels. So there's our select buttons now. Now I want to have, add a hover effect to them. So just do button hover to get that going. And we just want to change the background color to green when it hovers. And that green will be hashtag 55BB11. I believe. Oh, 5-5, five five, not FF. 
And then we'll actually have a transition on this as well. And that'll be for the background color. And it'll be 0.15 seconds, ease in. And there, now we when we hover over it, it slowly changes to green. Now we want to grab the purchase container and we'll give it a text align of left. So here's our purchase container. Um, we want the font size of it to be 25 pixels. So there, the font size is a little bigger. We'll grab the cart and we'll give it a margin of 10 pixels on the Y, zero pixels on the X. And then we'll grab all the LIs, so the list items, and we'll give it a border of one pixel solid black. So there they are, those are the items. Give it a background color of just off-white, hashtag e -E, slightly gray. Uh, we'll give it a padding of 10 pixels and a margin of 10 pixels. And there we go. There's our items that we want to purchase. Of course, it doesn't do anything. And I think we are done with this project. So as you can see, these take us to the right spots. Um, it looks good if it's big or if it's small. Um, it still works. We have this YouTube embed. Yeah, I think it looks all right. We have this nav bar that sticks to the top and you can see through it a little bit. So that's nice. The code, there's quite a bit of it, but um, it's really not too bad. There we built the product landing page. Um, I didn't really follow these user stories too much. Um, I just wanted to make a good looking landing page project that you guys can follow along with. Next up, I'll try building a technical documentation page. So we'll see what that looks like right now. So something that looks like this. So <laughs> technical documentation page. So it'll probably be a lot of Florum Ipsum text in this. Okay. I'll see you later. That's all I have for you today. Bye.